I'm anti-vaccine because the Greek word from where pharmacy came from means poison. Why do you think medication has all those side effects? <sighs> well, they win. Can't argue with that logic. Might as well just hang out my hat and call it a day. Ah, <sighs> those damn valid points. Anyways, welcome back everyone. I'm Eros, and today we are going to be covering r slash vax happened. So without further ado, without further introduction, let's begin. Hey guys, I found this super great article about vaccines in autism. Check it out! Pro-vaxxers really need to do their research and know the truth about the dangers of vaccines. www.howdovaccinescauseautism.com Click. They fucking don't. <laughs> the thought of a Karen clicking on this after going like, <gasps> something that validates my opinion, and then realizing she just got trolled, <laughs> brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Until proven 100% safe, I'll never vaccinate. Cars aren't 100% safe and you still drive. Phones don't have a 100% chance of not exploding, but you still use one. Eating food won't guarantee you won't choke and die. The biggest thing is that the benefits are far greater than the risks. Benefits are greater than the risks. Yes, someone said it. Because I don't know about you, but even if vaccines caused autism, which they fucking don't, having an autistic kid, in my opinion, is way better than having a dead one. Friends, I'm desperate here. I am a newly non-vaccinator, and I want to write about a vaccination danger for my final thesis in college. However, I have to use these scholarly journals as my sources. When I search deep into GSU's library, every article seems to be pro-vax, and nothing supports my argument. Does anyone have some scholarly documents that I can use to prove my point effectively? Thank you. The fact that you can't find any journals to back up your viewpoint may suggest you need to reassess your viewpoint. True dat, bro. True dat. My teacher from New York. I'm against vaccines. Hey, wanna know why some of these diseases no longer exist in the US or are very rare in the US? Because we fucking vaccinate you dense mother. Fucker. In 1956, Elvis Presley got his polio vaccine in front of the press. As an influential figure, this act helped raise vaccine rates from 75 to 90 percent. This just goes to show the power some stars have, or stars have in general, because people actually fucking listen to them. For example, Jenny McCarthy, who was a star back then, arguably mainstreamed the entire anti-vax movement. And because of her, many people have died and have caught preventable diseases because she decided, you know what causes autism? Vaccines. So with that, I'm gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a few good laughs out of it. If you guys liked what you saw, click the like button. If you guys really liked what you saw, click the subscribe button. I wanna take one more moment to thank y'all for helping me to get to over 100 subscribers. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I do plan on doing something special. I'm not quite sure yet, but comment on down below what you think I should do for 1,000 subscribers. I am a little far away from that as of yet, but I am open to any and all ideas of what y'all may want for that 1,000 subscriber mark. Once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful whatever you decide to have. And I hope to see y'all next time.